Hi, welcome to this video. In this video, I will discuss what JavaScript is, what it can do for you and what you would need in order to use it. With this foundation in place, you will see how JavaScript can help you to create a powerful web application for your website. Also, I will give you a brief look at where JavaScript came from, how it works and what sorts of useful things you can do with it. Most programming languages are either compiled language or interpreted language. JavaScript is an interpreted language rather than compiled language. Computer doesn't understand what JavaScript is at all. It needs something to interpret JavaScript code and convert it to computer understandable language. As the browser goes through the JavaScript code, it passes it to a special program called an interpreter, which converts the JavaScript code to the machine code and that is understandable by computer. The interpreter acts like a translator and it is like a translator who translates French language into English language. Alternatively, a compiled language first go through an external compiler before it can be executed. Most languages Java, Python, Ruby are like that. There is no such requirement for an interpreted programming language. A program written in an interpreted language can be run right away. For JavaScript, this means you can run the program straight from the browser itself. So remember, JavaScript is an interpreted language. JavaScript is completely separate technology from Java language. Even JavaScript is not the script version of Java language. The fact is, the only thing they share is the same name. And the good news is that JavaScript is much easier to learn and use than Java language. JavaScript code runs inside a web page loaded into a browser. All you need in order to create these web pages is a text editor, which can be for example Windows Notepad and a web browser such as Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer with which you can view your pages. The JavaScript language first became available in the web browser called Netscape Navigator 2 and initially it was called LiveScript. When JavaScript really took off, Microsoft decided to add its own brand of JavaScript called JScript and it was added to the Internet Explorer. Since then, Netscape, Microsoft and others have released improved versions of JavaScript and included them in their latest browsers. Later on, Netscape submitted the language to ECMA. ECMA is a standard body to create independent and an official standardized edition of JavaScript. The standardized edition of this language is officially called ECMA or ECMAScript. JavaScript is not only the scripting language. There is others such as VBScript and Perl. So why choose JavaScript over the others? The main reason of choosing JavaScript is its widespread use and availability. And it is very easy to learn and code using JavaScript. As I mentioned before, you would just need a browser to interpret JavaScript source code. And no doubt JavaScript is fast and processing depends entirely on task. JavaScript is platform independent. You don't need any special hardware to run it. You just need a JavaScript enabled browser. It is very easy to debug JavaScript code and find errors. And it provides a better web design option and easy navigation on your website. JavaScript is well suited for performing tasks within a web browser. The most common use of JavaScript are interacting with users, getting their information and validating their actions. With JavaScript, you can easily change HTML content, HTML styles, HTML attributes. It can easily detect what browser a person is using and customize the web pages to their browser. It can validate date for you. It can for perform calculation in forms. It offers validation for the form inputs. You can easily interact with multiple frames inside browser. The matter of fact is there is much more to do with JavaScript language.